Now we're on uh, lesson 11 and we're going to look at one specific movement in exercise 3. And if you have a look at exercise 3 bar 17, um, you will find that the movement I'm talking about is G to altissimo D back to G. Now, normally when we play top D, we lift off the first finger. So we play off the first finger and play like that. Now, you find that if you're playing G and then you're going to go to altissimo D, like so, this is quite a... I'm just going to say it's a violent movement, but it's quite an extreme movement and it can lend up with the, the D being very pronounced and sort of barking out. Uh, and it sort of clunks in. It's not very smooth. Now there is a technique we can use and I actually use this fingering or this finger movement almost all the time when I'm moving to top D unless it's very fast movement. And this is a little slide and rotate of the index finger. Now rather than lifting it straight off what we do is we slide the finger down and rotate it. Now, unfortunately, the arthritis is getting the better of my hands these days and I can't do this movement really well these days. You'll find I used to rotate my finger and slide it. I find that very difficult to do these days. But effectively, you can just do a little roll and slide off of the hole. Now, you'll see we break the top of the hole here. Now, if I was moving up onto top D, from say B or A, I would slide like that and then if I was moving on to something higher I would lift off. But in this instance we're going to be moving up to top D and then back again. So to make this as smooth as possible what I'm going to do is do your G, do a little slidey rolly movement off of the first finger like so and of course this has to be coordinated with the movement of the other fingers. It's all got to happen at once, which makes it quite a tricky movement. And once you play the top D, rather than lifting the finger off, we're going to slide back on. And I shall attempt to show you this and hopefully it will come out successfully. Now you see how I can move up into that top D very gently just by doing that little break there. Breaking open that finger there on that top hole. At no point do I lift that finger off. That's a really useful, very worthwhile technique. It takes quite a lot to master that. To make that become second nature takes a lot of work but it's well worth trying and it's well worth getting a hold of.